he's worried now. He what what he oh, yeah. he's come in at fit. Yeah. And yeah. a couple of my grandson's friends have called him. Another one of the mothers. So it's all around them. Yeah. Yeah, it's it, it's something. Right now, yeah. Let's go back to school. Yeah. You know, I can't believe that, you know, there, there's people getting polio again. Heard that. But where was that in? New York, New York State. They go back. They haven't back. Um, it, you know, it could be one of those Orthodox Jewish communities or whatever, but. Yeah. Yeah, really okay. that's okay. It doesn't take much to distract me. I'm happy to talk to anybody. So. Let's see it. You know, what I can do is uh, settings. Oh, here I got. Oh, oh, you had some. Yeah. Well, Christy Rag said the mom said that. Oh. It's fine. It was just a touch you had on Oh, okay. Good. Are you going to take the lunch, Arlene? Yeah, I'm not today. Oh, okay. I did. Yeah. Good. Um, okay. I'm not part of the Wawa. Did you hear that, John? <laughs> when we can't, we can't do as good as Wawa. That's the problem. Yeah. <laughs> oh no! Oh really? Oh no! Uh, we we uh. Did you get your replacement? No, we we have a couple of people to hire. Uh, we need a meal supervisor here and a meal supervisor at Good Neighbor uh, Senior Center. Um, we've been without one there for six or nine months. I don't know how the center director has been able to manage. I mean, their program is a little bit smaller than the one here, but mm -hmm. still. Uh, Susan. Sorry. That's all right. Hello, Susan. How are you? Oh, she's muted. Hi, John. How are you in there? How about you? Yeah, yeah. Uh, we're good. Yeah, I'm I'm uh, back at it after being sick last week. So, uh, are you feeling any better? Oh, I feel great. That's good. I'm took, glad took for that. Paxlovid, and I'm feeling terrific. So, uh, yeah. Until I'm, I, 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 we'll we'll operate under that assumption until I'm not. Uh, <laughs> oh so. my gosh, really? Who knows, right? Yeah. What a journey. Yeah. Yeah, I got out today for a two and a half mile walk for the first longest walk in a week and a half. So wow. Good. So that's for you. good. That's yeah, uh let's see. Let's go back to speaker view. I see a red line. Where from? What? Um. Yes, I did. It was very nice. Yes, I did. It just stayed to this. Oh, the girl, 
Do I have you lined up right? She used to play with it a long time ago. Mm -hmm. No, it's just a couple of books. That? Mm -hmm. that was nice. Nice. Oh, well, I don't blame you. That was a beautiful day that we had a ball. Mm -hmm. I feel like that was a weekend too. Mm -hmm. yeah. Not exactly. I don't think it was a Uh, nature professor, yeah, really at length, yeah, yeah. We just want anything to get rid of humidity, please. Mm. What yesterday morning? Say it was a mess. Oh, it was no mess. Yeah. Oh, no, that's worth it. Mm -hmm. In there. That was happening. There was it both of them or Colby and Gracie? No, just the Gracie. Oh. Well, you we get to a call with the other way. So, right. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. He was fine. Yeah. That's good to spend time. Yeah. Separate with them. The brushes are in there. All right. Okay. Uh, we'll be using that first word of bread. Uh, I know we'll be using all your medium, probably for you, a medium French tree. No, the medium. Yeah. Morning, Aaron. Aaron, could you explain um, with, I guess, hopefully we're going to do more work on um, these buildings because I hate the way my buildings look right now. And <laughs> they look they look like, I don't know what, like kind of posts or something, but they don't look quite right. So okay, any hints on that would be great. So uh, is it possible? Could I take a peek? <laughs> yeah, you can take a peek. It looks Oh, oh, that got stuck. Yeah, so they're just, they look like sticks and I thought I'll just wait. <laughs> yeah, they look horrible. <laughs> okay. Uh, no, you, so, <clears throat> so let me ask you, when you get down, did you use a flat brush? I believe so, yeah. I mean, I remember you saying, whatever you said, um, cause I do have a flat brush. Yeah. I probably okay. used it, but yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you just, just take your flat brush loaded with paint and just straight down. If, if this seems to be a little off, <laughs> um, that can, that can be an issue for a lot of folks going down straight. Um, but if it's kind of curved, you can always, Hey, good morning, right? You can always take the brush. Mm -hmm. And go whatever whatever side is leaning. Right. Put a little extra paint there, and maybe widen the building. Right. I was thinking of doing that, and I thought, you know, I'll I'll just wait till next week or uh -huh. right now, and see what suggestions or if we were going to go back to it. Because I know there was another painting, and we did some kind of buildings in the distance, and I thought, well, those look okay that I did, but these, I'm like, oh. And then I think it was just like I had to walk away because <laughs> I was like, oh, I don't like gotcha. the way it looks. So, but thanks. Yeah, they they can be uh, trying. Um, yeah, like I said, the, the best way to do it to gauge it is to just take the brush, line it up straight, and just pull straight down. Okay. If you want to kind of cheat and let see how I'm laying my brush vertical right. with the with the actual canvas. Yes. Just barely touch. And pull straight down and follow your brush line. 
Okay. Oh, okay. Great. Might Thank be you. Easy trick. Yeah. Okay. All right. Thanks. All right. No problem. So real quick, I'm just going to go over what we did last week. Get us all up to speed here. In case anybody missed last week, uh, we came in with Cobalt Blue. First of all, we 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 laid gesso down on, on our canvas yep. very uh, fluently. So we had a nice moist canvas and we brought in some Cobalt Blue, a little bit of Hooker's Green I used. Um, and basically we started from dark at the at the top, dark at the bottom, and we kept our blush brushes flowing and we blended it into the white, which is here in the middle. Okay, from there, once we had our background established, the water bottom, we used uh, our wide brush, very flat strokes from side to side when we put this, laid this water in, okay? Uh, and then from there, took our black, made horizon lines, our, our skyline here. Um, and then like I just, I just went over, we took black and we barely gently, once we got those lines established, we come up and we lay our brush down flat and we come straight down and made indications of buildings. Okay. And we came in with white palette knife or a flat brush, very thin. And we came in here and created a water line with titanium white, just to give that some water line effect. And what we did for our reflection was we did the same thing with the buildings. Uh, we very lightly come, come down and mimic what was up top. The same luck, the same length whatever you have up top. And then we came very lightly with a clean brush and we very lightly blended it in back and forth into the water to create that reflection. Um, so today we're gonna be inserting a wine glass here. Um, we're gonna add in some landscape here and add a nice little pink tree in here to give this some color um, to compensate. Um, this this painting right here. So we're going to start with the wine glass. Um, if you have a straight edge or something straight, a ruler, we're going to need, let me give you the colors. We're going to be using black, uh, titanium white, very little scarlet red because we're going to mix some uh, red and white to make some pink. Uh, and I also have Hooker's Green here and burnt amber. Right now we're gonna start off with the black. Now I'm using a very thin round detail brush. The thinnest you have it, the better. And you wanna get that nice and moist and get ready to load that with black. Gonna start doing etching out our glass form. So again, we're gonna come here with our straight edge. And I'm just gonna create two dots. One on the right. I have two dots here now. Okay. And we're going to create that oval lip of the glass, that oval shape by just going to do a little rainbow up here, connect these dots. All right. And then I'm going to do the same thing under. I look like a little saucer, flying saucer. I have my glass lip now. I'm 
And I'm going to take my straight edge on one corner. I'm going to just trace and it comes down just a little bit. Same thing on the other side. I'm trying to stay out of the way so you can see here. Okay. Now we're going to gauge right in the middle of that. And we're going to make our glass stem. We're going to do it very thick because we're going to end up widening, widening them, widening the stem. Now the trick part to come, it meets these lines in the middle of our stem. <laughs> Gonna widen it a little bit. I'm just adding paint to the side of it on the right. A little rainbow at the bottom. See that? All right. And now have our glass form. I'm just going to come in with white now. Kind of touch up my lines that are kind of edgy. With the white. Now, depending on what type of wine you want to put in here, we can put red wine. I'm going to use scarlet red. Come in here. Take my top line in there. Place them right at the bottom. Stand inside that wine glass. You see, I'm just throwing streaks over, just laying it very dry on the canvas.
coming in with black and going over my line, making my lines a little better. So I'm gonna do this after you get your, your glass established. This is John. The 255. Okay, bye. I'm going to add a little white on this glass, on this stem down here. Just a little highlight there. Remember when you add little white highlights over top of your glass outline with the black, it's going to give you a shiny effect. here and there on the glass black outlining. going to add some red on my brush on my thin brush I'm still using and I'm just going to come down here in the middle of this glass stem and I'm going to drag that red down to get some reflective color on that stem Yeah, you heard what happened? They told me it would. They, I got a phone call. They told me I weren't having class last week. Uh, well, I, I was out sick. Jessica uh, was on vacation, and so there was some confusion about yeah, it. Okay. Yeah, I missed this. I'm trying to catch up now. I'm just adding in some hints of red with some reflective color. Now I'm going to take my red and I'm going to take some white and tone it down just a little bit. I'm going to come up here. And create the top of my wine. Yeah, it's like a shadow, so it'll be an arch. Yeah. 
here for my black. Very lightly make a line. Like that line is fitting. Well, you see, that's okay, chat. When you, when you come closer. <laughs> So I mixed a little white in and I made another uh, bow here to give that wine the effect that it's sitting. Then we came in with a little black on the edge just to indicate where that water level is or that wine level is, excuse me, or whatever you want in your glass. We wait for that to dry. We gotta wait for this uh, to dry a little bit before we come in with more shimmer on the glass, actually. You know, I'll come in here and put some white over this, uh, make some highlight spots. But for now, we're gonna let that dry. We're gonna move over here and we're gonna create a nice foot of land tree system. <laughs> I have some burnt number here. I'm gonna take my wide brush and I'm just gonna kind of brush it in here like this. Coming from the corner out. Indication of some dirt there. Let's have a brush again, small round brush. I'm going to stem from the bottom down over here, and I'm just going to come out and make a nice little branch. Get my burnt umber. One thing about trees, you no. Know, be really free. It's no rhyme or reason where a branch can come out or kind of create create stuff that can come out there. And we're gonna grow some leaves. Very lightly building my brush and very lightly just coming in creating branches. Okay. There, small tree. He looks a little cold right now. We're going to warm him up. I 
I'm going to come with a wide brush now. And I'm going to dig into that hunter's green, the hooker's green I have here. If you have an olive green or dark green, a little green doesn't that, work. So we're going to start off with pure green. And just add that right over top of that dirt. It up. So I'm actually leaving a little bottom of the dirt under my grass there. I left a little ledge. Let that dirt show through a little bit in the bottom. Just patting it on nice and firm on the canvas. So you just put that that burnt umber down. So your brush should have pulled some of that brown, and your green, your grass should be uh have a little diversity with the, the brown mixed in. That is okay. That's what you want. Now I'm going to take, not clean my brush, I'm just going to take a little white, very little white on my brush. I'm going to come up top here and I'm going to create some highlights in the grass. Highlights in the grass. I created a little bit of depth in there by doing those white highlights in. I feel like every time I come here, I'm catching up. Yeah. I haven't been, I haven't been here real long. I'm trying my hardest to get here too. I can't seem to pull it off. I don't know what I do. Now, if you're getting like a murky or muddy type of look where your grass is, that means you just you got too much paint on there. Uh, it's it's mixing in too much. Just let it sit for a little bit. Come back to it. We're going to move ahead. We're going to mix some some nice pink up to put on this tree right here. This happy little naked tree. I'm gonna put some leaves on him. So I'm taking my scarlet red and a lot of paint, uh, a lot of white, and I'm gonna mix up a nice pink.
take my brush. I'm going to kind of fluff it up after I get it wet. Stick it in my tank, load it up. Come up here, and I'm firmly going to dab some leaves. going right over these branches, but you want to show some branch. I'm just pumping these, these leaves right on them. And I'm leaving a little bit of space. It doesn't have to, you don't have to go right next to each other. Give it a little breathing room. Just, I'm just indicating, I'm just putting them right next to the branches, indicating some leaf growing, some leaf growing on those branches. Adding in some white in my brush. I have light and dark spots on my tree here. Now I'm going to come in here with my detail brush. I'm going to take that same paint and I'm just going to have a couple of leaves <coughs> dropping over here, falling. Grass here. Got a little wind blowing. Took my brush and I just really dipped it on. So over here, I'm looking at my wine. My wine looks pretty dry. So now. Going to come back over to my glass, clean brush, flat brush, almost like the buildings. We're going to load our brush with white. Over here in the 
that off. So I'm just going to keep my brush flat and I'm going to go straight down. A nice firm streak right down. Um, um, this side and um, Now I got my highlights. I'm going to clean off my brush. I'm going to take with the wet with the wet brush, same brush. I'm going to blend that, moisten that in, blend that in throughout the whole glass. I'm just going to kind of water glaze and cover that whole area. Give your glass a, a different tint from the sky, so it should look like the sky is peeking through, but glass is in front. Yeah, we'll just bisect a little bit of the paper. Yeah, I'm going to come around. Is that why the brush is helping? So. Take my small detail brush, my round brush, 
And we're going to go with our ones right here. Very little paint with the tip, very lightly. I'm going to make a V. Bird there. I'll bring it closer. So all I did, I came really very light with my brush. And I very lightly did a wide V. Swoop, swoop, to create those birds. Okay. I'm going to come in. I'm going to. Start fixing this landscape a little bit. I'm going to come with my burnt umber again. Right under the grass where this is showing. Peace out. Some darker shadows in there. Grass, the grass is sitting on something. Back to my titanium white. Create a little watermark, little water line. Got the tip of that dirt. Very lightly, just coming in with my titanium white. I'm kind of just zigzagging those water lines in. Zigzag them under the brown. <laughs> Now what I'm going to do is, we are going to take that same burnt sand, um, burnt amber, mix it with a little white, tone it down, and we're going to follow our tree up there, down here. Just the indication of some shadows, reflecting the tree. Now guess what's next? We're going to reflect the leaves. <laughs> yep. We're pink in the water, so we're going to reflect the leaves now down here. Doesn't have to be exactly perfect, but you just want to give indication of reflection in the water, John. So I'm just literally laying down some pink.
Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to give this a few minutes to sit like we did our buildings. And I'm going to come with a wide dry brush, really clean. And I'm just going to lightly stroke over this. See that fade in the water it gives you that reflection you're looking for. Very clean brush. That's a tree reflection that I'm moving in. Is that right in the room? Yes. <laughs> Mother canvas. All we did was mimic what was up top of here, just like we did the buildings inside of the water. There, pretty much, we are all set. I'm going to touch up some lines. Just taking a little water and I'm just blending this those colors in here inside of my glass. Just water. And I hope we are signing our artwork. We're signing these, right? Oh, no, I have not done that. Yeah. Totally Sunset Boulevard. Sunset Boulevard. Sunset Boulevard.
How was that? Good. Good. Yeah. No, I guess the only thing I have a comment about is like not knowing that I needed like extra space under here to have the tree. Right, like, uh, do you know what I'm saying? Cook, obviously, we're using smaller canvases, but gotcha. yeah, you know. yeah. Yeah. Okay, so next or last, please, by all means, if you feel comfortable upgrading to a bigger uh, side canvas, uh, that's perfectly fine. You want to stick with the size you have, the eight by ten. On to, um, I'll, I'll continue to uh, keep it the composition, design, and proportion so we're all on the same block, the same page. We'll see you everyone next week. Okay. Where are we starting awesome next time. week? What's that? Where are we starting next week? We're going to be doing fish. Fish? Cool. Cool. Yes. Give fish like in the water right. or on a platter? In the water. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> So is it possible you yeah. can hold the painting yeah. closer? Yes. Sorry, could you hold your painting closer? Oh, so sure, sure. Thanks. Just wait, because I need to catch up. <laughs> no problem. Thank you. You're Thanks. welcome. Yeah, that last uh, 20 minutes was challenging. There was a lot going on. Susan, I'll take a picture and send it to you. Oh, okay. Thanks, John. Okay. Um, I should hit the camera button. Okay. So I'll see everyone next week. All right. Thank you, Aaron. Yeah. Sounds great. Thank you, John. I know okay. what I'm doing here. Okay. I got a picture. Thank you. Take care, everybody. Uh, have a good weekend. I will. Uh, I will send you the picture in a few minutes. Oh, sounds great. Thank you. Okay. Take care. Bye bye. Bye.